Hi, this is Catherine, owner of Phantom Designs and Skin Dealer on Instagram. Today I'll be showing you how to color a background and add paint splatters in Photoshop CS6. This is what the final product will look like. So first we need to take a picture and crop it to one by one, which is the size of Instagram photos. And to do that, I use the crop tool right here. And I've already put a skin on it which is the one that I posted on Skin Dealer. It's the Brandon Phillips one. It's a great skin, especially for baseball. And next step is to mask. To mask, you have to create a duplicate layer of the original layer. So to do that, you click Command J or Command or Control J on Windows. And next, you're going to use the Quick Selection tool right here and make sure it's on the plus and then you click and increase the increase the uh, brush size here and you click in the areas that you do not want to keep so I'm clicking the background here and it's selecting and eventually it'll go around the player so as you can see it has selected some of the parts that I want to keep so I'm going to go back here and use the minus tool and click that and it's okay if it's not exact because you can go back in later and use the brush tool to erase some of it. I'm going to fast forward to where I'm done with masking so I can spare you this time. Once you have a selection you like click edit then cut to remove the background. As you can see we have removed, successfully removed the background. To clean it up, you want to zoom in and find places maybe you missed, so you would use the magic wand tool for that. Again, edit cut. And if there are some areas that you just can't get with the magic wand tool, you're going to need to use the eraser. Just go around where you think it is. I know it may be hard to tell on some pictures, so just do your best and it'll look fine in the end. A masking is not a process to rush. You actually want to take your time on it. So find the areas that you miss here. And sometimes you might want to clean up the edges because they're very rough right here. So you just use the eraser tool to kind of smooth it out. So you just go around the entire image looking for spots that you may have missed. Okay, looks like we're good. And now you want to make the background black and white. So you go to Image, Adjustments, Black and White. And I like it maximum black right here. It just gives it a darker, cooler look, and more contrast here. So I'll click OK. And then to color the background, you need to create an empty layer on top of the original black and white background. So you click new layer right here and then you choose the color that you like. So you click around here, find something that looks good to you and matches. You don't want to clash on your picture. So I was going for a kind of deep navy here and then you would use the fill tool paint bucket tool and just fill it in here and then you would change the blend mode to either soft light or hard light it just depends on the picture for this picture I prefer hard light it gives it a nice clean look and to do the paint splatters you would create another empty layer on top of the color and then you would use the paintbrush tool and I'll put the link to these brushes right here in the description so you can all have these. These are great brushes. It has everything in it. And I'm just going to use this nice paint splatter here and change the color to red to match this jersey. Again, just click around, find something that you like. There we go. And click right here. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.